So as we continue to celebrate Black History Month, we're highlighting the people and places right in our own backyard that play a major role in keeping history alive. Yeah, this morning, that place is the Hip Hop Museum in the Bronx. We were joined by the executive director, Rocky Buchano, to bring us up to date on where things stand with the museum and some of the milestones it's already reached. Good to see you, Rocky. Good to see you and thank you. Of course, so the finishing touches being put on the museum, right? What's the big opening date? When is the, when's the public going to be allowed in? Yep. So. Uh, we are speeding towards the finish line. Our opening date is projected to be the summer of 2025. So we're still a few months away, 18 months, you know, specifically. Yeah. Uh, but it's coming along. We have a great design team putting together the actual plans for the visitor experience. Mm -hmm. and I can't wait for it to get to that finish line. Yeah. yeah. I mean, but 50 years of hip hop, that's a lot of material. How do you sift through everything and decide what goes into the museum? And then will it be like on a, on a rotation? Yes, yeah, so we have a great curatorial team. Uh, we've been collecting artifacts from all around the world, uh, you know, just preparing for this moment. So our curators really understand that this museum represents the, the entire expanse of hip hop, from where it started with DJ Cool Herc, mm -hmm. all the way to where it is in today's present time. So, you know, we know that in our museum, it's 53,000 square feet. Mm. And, you know, the, the plan is to make it truly immersive. So using a combination of artifacts and digital media will allow us to actually make the museum feel bigger than it actually is. Yeah. Wow. Right? So, you know, when we curate the history of hip hop, we know that, you know, as we rep represent history, we have to show the essence of the story how it started, who started, the pioneers, the practitioners. But we also have to show the impact that hip hop mm -hmm. has had on a global scale. Mm -hmm. So it's a very interesting design process that our curators are going through with our design team. And you know, we just want to make sure that when people come into the space, you know, whether you're an avid fan of hip hop or you're just a passive consumer that really doesn't really understand the nuances of the culture, that when you leave, you really are enlightened about what yeah. hip hop actually is. It's an is. educational yeah. lesson you're telling and weaving a story much like a hip hop lyric does, right, as you walk through the museum. But you're also having some great collaborations that some of them have been made known, some of them are still under wraps. Let's talk about Flow Scholar and what exactly that means. So Flow Scholar is a fantastic new project. I'm so excited to talk about this project because it's a, a collaboration with Microsoft and Microsoft Copilot, the AI platform. And it's an educational tool to assist aspiring hip hop artists to really get to learn how to craft really creative lyrics. Mm. So it helps them really understand the nuances be behind you know, writing lyrics that actually have an impact. Mm -hmm. So they can use the flow style just basically to learn how to get beyond the blank page. The blank page is really the hardest thing in any type of writing, yeah. right? Mm -hmm is coming up with that first line, that first paragraph, that first story. So Flow Scholar really is a great tool to help um, these new hip hop artists understand the writing process. So Ice-T was one of our first uh, test bunnies. Yeah. yeah. He came in, we brought a, a, a bunch of kids from the Dream Charter School up in the Bronx down to the Microsoft garage, and we let them play around with it. And, I love and, that. And Ice-T was watching the process, and he was like, wow, this is really cool. You know, yeah. so. Probably like, I wish I had this when I was yeah, really. coming up in the biz. <laughs> Do you have a lot of veterans in the industry that are going to take, that are not only taking part in, you know, curating this museum, but are going to be continue or consistently involved in some of the exhibits? Yeah, so, I mean, we have a great support group, you know, from the East Coast and West Coast, Yo-Yo. Mm -hmm. who's, a, you know, from the West Coast. She's one of our ambassadors, L.O. Cool J and Nas, Grandmaster Kaz and Melly Mel, and Curtis Blow, who's been there from the very beginning. So we have a, a range of folks from that started when hip-hop was just being born to some of the newer artists that, yeah. are, that, are being, uh, that are coming into today's scene. All good stuff, Rocky. We look forward to talking to you along the way between now and 2025. Uh, and we can't wait to come see it when it's all done and finished. Thank you very much. Great to have you here this morning. Thank Thanks. you. Appreciate you.